Meet Jahan Han. He's an SU student and has been training in mixed martial arts for seven years. The unique different fighting styles is what got Jahan into MMA. Sports involved in it. There's boxing, there's jiu-jitsu, there's wrestling, Muay Thai, and then you basically combine those arts and then form, you know, an MMA. Boxing is the most common art used in MMA, and it begins with having good footwork, followed by a solid one, two, three punch combination. This is useful when you're closing in the distance. Another technique within MMA is jujitsu, as it takes place on the ground and it is used to put an opponent into submission. This move is called the arm bar. So I gotta, you know, control your wrist and that's tough, you know, when the guy's, you know, right, right, right. putting resistance. So I gotta put my leg, cross it all the way over here. <laughs> okay. Like this. And then basically go flat on my back. Look at that, but you know, it's, it's it's so tough when a guy's resisting. You can also change your boxing technique into Muay Thai by adding a kick with your punches. Muay Thai is designed to attack with both the legs and arms. And the purpose of this kick isn't to, you know, it's not a knockout uh, um, type of technique or anything. It's mostly to, just to disrupt uh, your opponent's timing, to throw them off guard. And Jahan also has the Muay Thai back punch in his repertoire. Badly. <laughs> And it's a knockout punch too. Punches and kicks to the head during an MMA match can be fatal for fighters. It can end their career or their lives. Because of this hazard to fighters' health, New York State has been hesitant to make professional MMA legal, but assembly members are not convinced the sport should be brought to the New York State with comments like, cage fighting has no place in a civilized society. Jahan thinks the MMA has been long overdue to be passed in New York State and hopes the assembly can recognize the MMA as a legitimate sport. Edward McFarlane, NCC News.